in the last video we have seen what is the concept behind behind process pre-processing data or you can say processing the data and then what is the concept behind comparing those values now there's a flaw in this Rabin Karp algorithm which we you know removed by using the modulus theorem that uh, I'll explain you here so what uh, how this algorithm is actually working that I've already told you that given uh, entire big you know uh, this is assuming this is a given uh, combination combination means this is a given text which is a b c a d a c b c again we have a a c b a d assume this is a given text okay and this can the text can be of any length and uh, this is the given pattern so it is a c a b c d okay so this is the given pattern so here i've taken an example with the help of a no uh, digits or with the help of english characters right in the same way we can have a pattern which is uh, having numerical values and those numerical values are 9 0 1 2 3 0 1 7 1 6 5 4 2 1 3 2 let us assume a huge or you can say a big bigger value 2 1 2 3 0 1 4 3 2 1 2 3 6 and so on T some very huge value which is in the last we have 9 1 2 like something like this okay this is this is it presenting a given text and this is a very huge text maybe some uh, huge file or something and his its size is n and then we have a pattern and the pattern is also very huge maybe the pattern is 9 9 1 2 1 3 1 4 6 2 1 3 4 and this is representing a pattern now i told you that we will find the numerical value of this given pattern and we will find the numerical value of a given block of the text and then we are going to compare those numerical value because just to compare those numerical values we don't have to implement any loop and later on we can also find the numerical values of other you know incremental uh, text right so within incremental index locations right but the problem is sometimes the size of pattern is so huge now you can see size of the pattern is so huge that it cannot be stored in an integer number or you can say it cannot be strong stored in a long integer number pattern can be very huge the length of the pattern can be maybe maybe 100 characters it may be 1000 characters or anything the length can be anything and you already know that integers maybe the size of integers can be two bytes or four bytes so assuming the size of integer is four byte and the size of long integer is again four bytes and size of long long integer is a, of size eight bytes right so this is the bigger size we have that is eight bytes now if the size of long long integer is eight bytes that means the maximum number that we can store here is two raised to power 63 minus one so that is the maximum number for signed and for unsigned it is two raised to power 64 minus one this can be the huge value is maximum value but this huge value is representing somewhere around 10 raised to power 6 or 10 raised to power 60 uh, 60 or 10 raised to power 61 you know digits right uh, sorry uh, 10 raised to power 61 some somewhere that there is a huge value or you can say it is representing a 60 digits 60 or 61 digits of number right because uh, you can easily evaluate it the this will be a 60 digits assuming that the size of pattern is m which is greater than 60 digits or it can be greater than assume we have 100 digits of pattern now how will you evaluate those 100 digits of pattern how will you, you know how will you, comp you know, compute that th those 100 digits of value because you have to evaluate the numerical value of this pattern and then you have to store this numerical value into some kind of variable that can be integer that can be long integer that can be long long integer so you have to store this numerical value in integer variable and you also have to use the numerical value of uh, the given text and then you have to compare these values now what if you cannot even store that huge value how what will you do if you cannot even store that huge value then that, that is going to create a problem obviously it is going to create a problem right so the obvious solution is you do not actually store the entire value but rather you store some processed value which is given by the modulus of this given number assuming that the value of this pattern is x 
now and we know what is the largest digit or largest value that can be stored inside this long long integer assume it is y then what i have to do is i'm going to take x mod y and then i'm going to store this x mod y into integer variable assume it is z in the same way we are going to find out the value of the text which can be assumed w right and then we are going to do w mod y and assuming that we are going to store this w mod y into variable which is k right now we are going to compare z and k right if z and k if they are matching if z is matching to k then only we can say that because their modulus is matching so maybe it can happen these two this given text and this given pattern is equivalent right but if they are not matching then obviously the pattern and the text they are not having the same value right so this is very simple to understand right because for let, let us just just for example if we have 79 as the text and we have 76 as the pattern now we can have mod 10 so we can do 79 mod 10 and we can do 76 mod 10 obviously if they are not matching in terms of mod 10 because it is 9 and 6 if they are not matching then there is no chance that the pattern text are matching right so sometimes it creates a shortcut but you can also say that if we have 176 and we have 76 obviously if 176 mod 10 is also 6 76 mod 10 is also 6 then because their modulus is 6 then no uh, but still it, it may not match but there's a high huge possibility there's a high possibility here in this particular case that if the pattern is very huge in number if the text is also very huge in number now we are going to find their numerical values and if the numerical values are matching then we can say this pattern and this text they are present okay if this pattern uh, is present inside this uh, given text how can we say actually we are not going to say it we are just going to say there's a huge possibility and if there's a huge possibility then we can implement a for loop to match them digit by digit to match them digit by digit that is again that becomes a brute force technique but it, it solves our purpose that we are just uh, finding that modulus value and we are going to see that whether they, they will be matching or not and if we assume that they are matching by this then obviously we can uh, you know take it forward and we can move it forward okay this is the entire concept behind this algorithm now let me exp uh, explain the algorithm here so i have already written the algorithm here and let me explain it to you and then we will implement it in the program in the later part of time so here it is saying that let t is a text and p is the pattern so t is a text and p is a pattern now what i have to do is i have to find the length of the text and i have to find the length of the pattern okay now uh, we are taking some d value so there's a d value and a q value so i'm not explaining what is the d value and q value as of now so we'll explain it later so then we actually this is some hashed value so it is some hash function we are using some concept of a hash function because modulus is again we are using the concept of hash function here so here we are taking the p is equal to zero and t naught is equal to zero what is p and t naught is equal to zero from this loop if this is the entire you know, text and if this is the entire pattern now we are finding out the value of pattern and we are finding out the value of text and then we are taking a modulus of that value okay so i have written this algorithm from the book which is corman maybe they have not written the entire algorithm as it is but they have given some hints about explaining the concept so the ma major the main uh, aim here is not to actually give the, the entire program from the book or not to give the entire concept from the book but rather there's the, uh, no, explaining how this is working so you can see here uh, this is for 1 to m because the length of the pattern is m and the length of the text is n so but still we are taking the first m digits and we are finding out that value and then after taking that value we are finding out the modulus of those values so that modulus is stored in p for pattern and the modulus is stored in t naught for text now we'll take a loop which will run from 0 to n minus m which is actually n minus m plus one time so this loop is going to run n minus m plus one times and we are going to see whether this pattern is matching the text or not if this pattern is matching the text so, so here you can see actually this is the modulus value so they are checking whether their modulus values are matching or not if their modulus values are matching then we have to check the each and every digit 
of the pattern right so if their models values are matching then we will see there's a huge possibility so i'm going to check each and every digit of this uh, pattern with this text okay and if they are not matching if they are not matching then we'll find out the value of the next you no know, next uh, next digits or next four you know next whatever number of uh, m characters in the text so this is just implementing the uh, next uh, m characters in the text so it is finding out that value okay and uh, so here you can see this is the highest highest value that we have which is actually uh, let, let's let us suppose the base of the number is 10 so it is and the value is m so it is finding out the highest value so this is representing what is the base of the number base of the number and this q is maybe it it can be related to what is the size of the maximum or what is the size of integer that we can have so it can have it is storing something like that okay so uh, if the base of the number is 10 obviously if it is a numerical value then we can use base as 10 if it is character we can use base as 36 or you can also use base as 54 or so on whatever whatever but i mean you can have uh, special characters you can have uh, english characters you can have different types of characters so you can use those values and you can implement it this entire algorithm okay so this is the algorithm that we have actually i think you have an idea now how this algorithm is working and what is the concept behind this so in the next couple of videos i'm also going to explain the algorithm which is a finite automata based algorithm i'm also going to explain the algorithm which is you know uh, the most important one which is the last algorithm uh, that is kmp algorithm growth morris pratt so this is the rabin carp algorithm and we are going to implement this rabin carp algorithm using the c language now i think you understood why i'm using the c language for the videos because uh, we have to make everything from the scratch in the c language but for languages like we have java and we have dot net now these kind of functions are already available even in the c language to find the substring the functions already exist but the main aim here is to understand the concept and how these things are working so that we can you know learn the basics of these kind of programming languages okay so that's it for this kind of this video so and then we will move on to the next section now so i hope you understood this one if you face any difficulty or any doubt just let me know and let me uh, just email me and i'll continue with it okay